which yoga says Patanjali is speaking of. In modern times, when we live in this commercial world, you will find many different names of yoga. Many different names of yoga. Even people coin and frame new names of yoga, every few months a new name of yoga is coming out. Who is making it? For whom they are making? Sage Patanjali spoke of only one yoga and that is Kriya Yoga. If we take Sage Patanjali's Yoga Sutra as an authority, as a valid textbook, the most prominent scripture on yoga, he is speaking of no other yoga. You will go through and he is speaking only of Kriya Yoga and the entire Yoga Sutra is the Yoga Sutra on Kriya Yoga. It is not just yoga. When we speak of yoga, yoga is a neutral word. Yoga is a neutral word. It is union. When it is union, which yoga, through which path one will be united? Very simple question would come, which path? Sage Patanjali said, don't get confused. And he is very clear, or he had the vision that in future, people would make many names of yoga. People will be confused. So he did not mention any other name of yoga, just Kriya Yoga. Why Kriya Yoga and why other yogas came in course of time? Just like we know Bhakti Yoga, we know Jnana Yoga, we know Karma Yoga, we know Hatha Yoga. Why all these things came up? Kriya Yoga itself is a complete yoga. It is a complete yoga. Other yogas deal with a specialized aspect of a human being, not of a complete human being. For example, you have eye trouble. You will go to an ophthalmologist. You will not go to the dentist. Somebody has tooth problem, will not go to cardiologist. There is some specialization. In human life or in medical science, for example, in a particular branch of science, there is so much of specialization, super specialization. So what happened in course of time, human evolution, there is some specialized yoga, some special yoga which deal with only one aspect of human being not the complete aspect of human being in total. So Kriya Yoga is yoga for a complete human being, for all-round development. 